Oh, not another unboxing video. <laughs> well, yeah. What else? Um, I got a little bit tipsy the other night and went on Music Magpie. But again, there was really <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a reason behind it. See, I I originally thought I didn't own Highlander Free to watch it on like a digital format, you know. I see, I'm not gonna have to watch Highlander Free on VHS. I see how the fuck's that happened? And then today I was like cleaning it. So you obviously you know Highlander Free is gonna be in this package, but then I was clearing out the top of the shelves today and I found Highlander Free on Blu-ray. I was like, I totally forgot I got that. I found it at boot sale for a pound. Highlander Free. It's a German import, but again, it, it'll work. So I didn't really need to buy Highlander. So essentially, I didn't need to buy this, but free delivery. I think it's really cool. But then it's like ugh, fucking music magpie, man. Four for eight pound, and it's like. Right, you're gonna tell me what I've got and what I again. It becomes like a fucking puzzle when you're trying to sort it all out and fucking hurry up. You get an email while you're trying to fucking play sure there's only one of these in stock. You're like, right, let us fucking make sure because you can like literally thirty pound in the basket. That doesn't seem right. And then you add one more item and it goes boom, it's like down to twenty one quid. See, that's that's what I was thinking. So yeah, anyway, I got a parcel today from Herms. Fucking surprised it even turned up. Um. Again, if you're following the channel recently, I'm trying to not buy loads of stuff and I'm moving house. So the more I buy, you know, I mean, I'll go to Ikea. So it's like, just justified. It's like getting all these puffin' posters. I mean, these are just on the bed because I've had to dig some King Kong books out, but um, they're for the house, you know what I mean? So that's why, not like slapping them on the wall, but Highland the Free went on the ceiling because the quad to fill a gap. Um, if you watch out the break in the ceiling videos, it's called when I fucking painted. A lot of people had grief, like Matty Connor and Mr. Smith, all that shit about was painted with a small brush. I'm like, have you seen Arcadia? Do you, do you really think I'm gonna go fucking crazy with a fucking brush? Like, fucking heart attack. Neil Buchanan, cunt. Uh, <laughs> Neil Buchanan's a cunt because of finding his keepers. And the fact that I, 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 told, yeah, I told a friend who actually knows him that, and he found it hilarious, so Neil Buchanan's a cunt. Anyway, um, without further ado, the package. Quite a lot in there. Now, there is a red heron in here because I might have to, may have left me phone in the other room, but there was a version of the film as you, ooh, that's uh, interesting. And uh, it's probably not even gonna be there, probably. So first up, didn't own this, but it's part of my Nicolas Cage uh, collection. Uh, that's in really nice condition, actually. Um, you never see this out about, it could happen to you, Bridget Fonda, cop tips, weight of two million. Um, there's the same Nicolas Cage collection. Will grow. Fuck me. That's got more fingerprints on a fucking crime scene. But again, ugh. wipes. Um, again, it's for Nicolas Cage. I was struggling. Well, I wasn't struggling. I had ten movies, but I was gonna have to dig out Wind Talkers. So, um, to be honest with you, I started the new Good, the Bad, and what the fuck about two weeks ago. Got to the third film in, and I haven't watched anything else. A couple of CDs in here, actually. Just in time for the car. Spine shank. Uh, a bit of a spine shank marathon the other day. Again, two ninety nine. I was going to get the new album, but it was like twenty quid. I was like, eh. <laughs> but uh, first album and the um, third album got some good tracks on it. This one, fucking dead to me is a fucking burial song. Like limited edition, the new album. See, what's limited for? And hand CD, but yeah, cool. Again, these were part of that two, uh, four for eight thing, but again, they're for the car actually. Again, next up, two more. Just put that down. <laughs> Okay, so another, don't mess with the Zohan. I've been watching a lot of Adam Sandler films and I've been a bit tipsy. Um, and again, this was like, again, making up, this was like a quid or something, fucking hell. It, it, you don't see it a lot on Blu-ray. Um, I need a fucking really have that. That's gotta be the last one I talk about. It's That's the one I was talking about, that it looked like a picture. And like, again, you're buying this. I mean, it's weird, because again, Mr. Smith, um, I sent him a clip and I says, look, Dream a Little Dream 2 is on fucking Music Magpie. You say, what the fuck? 
You know what I mean? It's, no, it's a reasonable price as well. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So next one. Bringing out the dead. Got this on VHS. Martin Scorsese. Don't remember liking it. Um, but obviously with this Nick in this cage and revisiting it, um, I'm going to watch it and probably appreciate it more. Fucking hell, Vin Rames, isn't it? I'm in a film with Vin Rames. Patricia Arquette. Oh, again, they were married, weren't they? Tom Sizemore. Looking forward to that. Again, didn't have my collection. Again, one ninety nine. Well, I love a Nicolas Cage. So there's three left. <laughs> Is that a fucking laser disc? So when I was going to meet Sean Perdries, I was trying to find Blue Juice on VHS because I do want it. And I just looked on the site and it was like one ninety nine. But then there's a version of like uh, if you know film four, like they do is do the, like the stripped down white and the red banded train spot and shallow grave blast off and all that but when they've started bringing them out on blu-ray they've went for um white and or um gold and stuff but blue juice i fucking love it and sean perry we you mean cat for calf zeta jones name checked right across the top i mean she is beautiful you mcgregor flying upside down you mcgregor as well it is a bit where the guy drops the acid and go gets painted up yeah she looks divine in that like but if you've never seen blue juice it's an awesome movie and it's what i, I even mention it when i'm talking to sean about blue juice and he acknowledges it because it is a little bit of a red heron. Um, but again, when you're on Music Magpie, oh, fucking hell, I mean, that, it's fucking, fucking awesome, man. Obviously, it's probably not its original casing. But yeah, I fucking love that. I can't wait to watch that. So yeah, might have to do a review rant random for that. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Uh, next up, <laughs> clean slate. So me and Paul Ray were talking about this recently and uh, I've got it on VHS and it's a big box, very early 12, Dana Carvey. Again, I just, just don't see this. I work in retail all the time and like these kind of films, I mean MGM DVD, it's like flash in the pan. So the last one should be High on the Free, funny enough. It's so High on the Free, The Sorcerer. Right, so straight away with this, uh, it's entertainment and video and it's just dulled of colour, Highlander free, especially if you see it on VHS or the final dimension. Um I love how it's got a uh, the castle in New York. But if you see it it's like that cosmic fucking I mean it was actually on that wall I had it. Cosmic fucking orange like last man standing. But again, um I just wanted this for possibly we've been talking about possibly doing the Highlander and that's the only one I didn't have on DVD. But I had it on Blu-ray and didn't fucking realise it. Again so <laughs> But yeah, um, so on the um, page, there was a copy of the Highlander, and it's a the Immortal edition. And I was like, yeah, all right. And it was only a couple of quid, and I was like, and I remember after I ordered, I was like, you know what, it's just going to be the new edition, and I've just fucking wasted some cash there. And it definitely wasn't this. <laughs> so, so this is the Immortal edition, Christopher Lambert. It's not English. Um... So it's got Emerald Doll Castle on the front, New York, Christopher Lambert looking to the side, Lightning, I've never seen this cover before, so there's another fucking cover of the Highlander. Um, so it's Anchor Bears, this could be, it's fucking, it's a, it could be American. So it's Region 1. So like, it's not going to work, and it didn't state that it was a Region 1 on the thing, but it's just for my collection. So it's got two discs, Princess of the Universe. Uh, oh, um. Fucking hell, it's got the Queen CD in it. Featuring original material from Queen, but it's actually got the fucking s eh. So yeah, it's got a mini soundtrack. So yeah, it's got a mini soundtrack of the Bat by Queen. <laughs> it opens up like that, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there, Highlander. Highlander and Freddie Mercury? What is this? Why is Freddie Mercury on the disc? <laughs> is he the new fucking Kurgan? Eh. And then a fucking big ass booklet? For Queen? So it's a really like cool little booklet as well. What about that? I mean, fucking hell. Get an official Highlander jacket. Or a sword. F fucking $300 for the sword. Hats, DVD, Highlander DVD carry case. I mean, really stretching out here, aren't they? So yeah, you can buy the swords, the katanas, and 
Um, a jacket, a real necklace, a cap, and you would think posters and stuff. But yeah, fucking hell. I mean, that's awesome. That is a total surprise. I'm actually glad I filmed this unboxing. <laughs> I'm actually, I've just spent ages doing a King Kong um, video, to be honest with you. And um, I was like, oh yeah, I've got that packaged open, and then that just totally blew my mind. I can't fucking handle it. There'll be no outtakes for this because, again, it's just an unboxing that's went really well. Um, but yeah. Stop buying shit. About to work anyway next. I'm about to work on Thursday, so yeah. Thanks for watching. I didn't even do an unboxing for me. Wrestling t shirts. It's just my Shinsuke Nakamura one. Who I think's fucking amazing. And I just wish it would give him a big old push. But you know, yes, I'm a wrestling fan. But yeah, thanks for watching. Go ahead. <laughs>